What's the deal, baby? Need something? Hey, Jackson. Long time no see. Jensen. My God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man. I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but... That'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict rowballers. You've got to hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs, but he's clever. And we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? I haven't walked the beat in a while. Could you give me a quick sit rep of the local gangs? <sighs> you know, gangs are not the finest example of evolution, if you catch my drift. Everything's pretty much the same. The derelict row ballers are still dealing and stealing, getting into fights with Augs, and defacing augmented people's property. Yeah, right. Upstanding citizens. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the Motor City Bangers. Ignorant scumbags, just like the DRBs, only some of them are augmented scumbags. How about the target, O'Malley? Got any more info? He's a cop, but he went on assignment with the feds for a while. No reports, no address, nothing. We're pretty sure he got tied up in major covert ops, but never got anything solid on him. He has a badge, but he doesn't feel like a cop at all. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right, then. Let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but 
O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant, even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm. Very dirty Harry of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not gonna turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Come on, Jensen, make this quick. We shouldn't be seen together before you're done with everything. I'm gonna need more details on O'Malley's place. Sure. He lives near Brooklyn Court. You know the alley behind the old gas station? His building is the one with a huge security gate. According to our contact, his apartment is on the second floor. Anything incriminating you can find in there would be useful. Any specifics on the weapons shipment in Derelict Row? You just gotta make your way in. The entrance is right there in the alley across the street. I don't know exactly where the weapon stash is, though. Where exactly can I find O'Malley? Our mole gave him his usual meeting location. An alley right next to the police station. Bastards got the balls to make his deals right under our noses. I assume the department has means to reward a super augmented spy's talents. We were able to get our hands on credits and hardware for this case. So do a good job, and all of it could end up lost in the field. If this O'Malley guy is such a big mastermind, won't he do a background check on me or have me followed? Of course. But lucky for us, the guy in charge of this spy games business is our mole. Don't worry, Jensen. You're covered. That's all for now.
Jensen, glad to see ya. Damn it, and now I sound like his girlfriend. It's like we're monsters. Dory, your family has a right to their
Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those ugg lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in... well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seurat, like the painter. I can never thank you enough for what you did. I wish you could have resolved the situation peacefully without killing that extremist, but you did what you had to do, I guess. Thank God it's all over now. Thank God it's all over now. I don't care what some of the other folk at the office say about you. You're okay in my book. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seurat, like the painter. Zero cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP-18 from Seurat. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Seurat carried those. Double T cut him a break on his rent, so he brought some in just for us. Turns out apartments in this dump ain't exactly cheap. Far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. Q 
keep out of this hanser. Get lost. No. Nope. Where is he? You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Okay, that's it. This is what I got. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. The guy you want to deal with is over there. The guy you don't want to deal with is standing in front of you.
Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? Yeah, by a clown and a midget for a while. But they eventually met the bearded woman they were looking for near a coffee shop, and we went our separate ways. Surely you're aware humor requires context, my friend. With a man like me, being funny in the wrong context could have dire consequences. So what is it you need? Straight to business, a rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now, I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. So what's the plan? You make a call and rat one of the bangers out? Then the DRBs retaliate and so on and so forth until they wipe themselves out? Pretty much. What about innocent casualties? These thugs aren't exactly expert marksmen, and it's pretty hard to aim from the window of a moving car. What could be worth such a risk? I won't discuss my motives with you. I hired you to do a job. Just do it. I guess that's it for now. This doesn't concern you.
keep out of this. I don't know about this. Breaking into the cop shop? Don't hide on me, Aug. We don't got no choice. We want to face down. I say you, trouble. bro!
Jensen. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. Oh. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. My guys got their hands on Double T, and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. 
You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you've found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Mr. Jensen, don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. Treachery? You lie, steal, murder, manipulate, and cheat on a daily basis. Men like you shouldn't even be allowed to use the word treachery. Your little outburst is quite amusing, Mr. Jensen. I didn't mean any of it as an insult. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. I'm listening. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. I don't think so. No more games. You're going down. So be it.
So? What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well... Whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. You did a good thing, Jensen. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? You did the community and the precinct proud. You did the community and the precinct proud. <laughs>